Hello everyone, welcome to the digital content module for week one. So we shall be starting with a new chapter, ethics and safety measures in computing. Internet, since it was invented in the year 1969, has been one of the biggest achievements in the field of communication and technology. Today, as it continues to grow, it is the backbone for a number of essential services. We shall be discussing some of the advantages of internet. First one is the storehouse of information. Any information is readily available on the internet. If we want to search any, inter, uh, any information, just what we need to do is just serve the Google to get the information. The next one is the communication. With the advent of the internet, communication has been one of the major development which has been done in using the internet. The internet helps in communicating to remote places as well as very close places. It saves time, reduces human effort, removes manual delays and makes communication independent of place and time is also very key. Email and chatting are cheap, fast, and easier ways to communicate. Nowadays, people are availing free communication on their mobiles using WhatsApp. Research and development. The internet helps people of similar interest to discuss on a particular topic and also share the latest trends and developments. Medical research and treatment has been improved a lot during the pool of information and suggestions by the doctors worldwide. The next one is the advertisement. The internet has become a preferred platform for the advertisement of all kinds of products. The next one is the transfer of files. With the help of internet, easily we can transfer files from one place to another. Online services such as banking, railways, Hotel booking, online shopping, e-commerce are important commercial uses of the internet. The next one is the job opportunities, business processing, outpost, outsourcing and also medical transcription have increased business possibilities and job vacancies. The internet is also a source of income for many online jobs. Now social networking, as everybody knows, social networking service of the internet has become a major popular most popular site with sites like Facebook, Twitter, Google, etc. Now, like advantages we have, there are certain disadvantages also. Quality and accuracy. Now, when we are searching for any data or document, we don't know how much accurate it is. Okay. So, anonymous information is available in the internet, but it becomes difficult to understand or to know the accuracy of the data which we will use. The next one is the vulnerability. The internet is vulnerable to virus attacks and threats by malicious programs which may harm the computer or the network. The next one is the open content. Now internet, uh, the content available on the internet is always not suitable for the children and must be strictly monitored by the parents. Plagiarism. Now a content from internet, if I copy and if I say that I have done it, now, so that type of cheating or uh, that type of, uh, you can say that uh, violating the copyright laws can be there. Okay, so the internet suffers from negligible administration, the available information may be used by someone else violating the copyright laws. Piracy is also there, all sorts of piracy is involving music, software, videos, and so on are encouraged by the use of the internet. Okay, the movie which has released today is easily available in the internet. Okay, two days uh, before. So, privacy is one of the major concerns using the internet. The last one is the other problems like spamming, phishing, hacking, gambling, and addiction to the social networking sites are some of the common problems which we are facing today. So under computer ethics, ethics are the 
principles okay, that regulate the use of computers. That means when we are using the computers, we should be having some ethics or some rules and regulations. Okay, so some of the common issues of computer ethics include intellectual property rights, as copyright, electronic content, privacy content, and how computer affects the society. There are different ethical practices. The internet which we are using should not be used to intentionally harm other people. We should use it for good purpose. Any individual privacy should not be invaded. Pirated software must not be used. Chain letters, rumors, and sensitive issues must not be forwarded. Students should access the computer, especially the internet services under the strict supervision of the parents and at school with the teachers. Avoid getting addicted to the services of the internet. Games like PUBG should be avoided. Personal comments and posts should not be made without the permission of the person on whom the comment is made. Now, children, I am giving you some task. What you need to do is you need to collect some information on the topic plagiarism, cyberbullying, hacking, phishing, spamming. Okay, so what you need to do is we need to you need to collect some information on these topics and we shall be discussing these topics in the class. That's all for today. Thank you, children.